It is an complete course project. Please learn them in order. This is part 4 animation. Ok, now we want to animate our scene. So before that go to outliner. So you want to uh, clean your outliner. So you want to rename this camera as um, short underscore so cam 01. So and then use area light rename of um, key underscore light zero one and then rename your area light two as so ambient underscore occlusion so and rename your plane one as so this one is the Mm, reflection 0 1 so sorry I will use chord underscore reflection 0 1 so I want to rename this chord as chord underscore reflection 0 2 like this so now you want to mm, create an go for our controller for our mobile so go to create panel, nobs primitives, disable the interactive creation. So that means when you click on nobs circle, it will automatically create an center of grid. Press R and scale big. So press W, you want to move in Y. So you want to keep them in center like this of your mobile. So now I select my nobs circle one. I want to rename this object as anim underscore. C O C N T R L zero zero one. So that means this one is an animation control. When your animation control selected, go to modify and choose freeze transformation. So that means your all your transform value will be zero. So now when I select my mobile main group zero one and control select anim underscore control zero one in your outliner and press P in keyboard so P means parent so that means your main group will be controlled by anim control 01 so that means you will uh, drive that main group by this animation control so I will hide this one so when your animation control 101 selected so now you want to set your keyframes for 100 so I want 100 keyframes so up to here 100 so now I want to set keyframe when your animation control one selected go to 20th frame in here so here you want to animate in translate Z so it's in front side so right click and choose key selector so that means it will key on uh, 20th frame so here you see that red slide over here so go to first frame so I want to press W sorry press W you want to move this one in Z and then X so I will undo this one so before that uh, I will in 20th frame so you want to right click on translate X and choose key selected and right click on translate Z and choose key selected you want to key selected on X and Z values so that means we have uh, two values keyed in 20th frame so now go to first frame and press W in keyboard you want to move front side in Z so and then move in X like this so you want to keep them inside so and right click and choose key selected on Z and right click and choose key selected on X so that means see here when I slide over here so it will enter to inside so I will select my camera view over here so see here it will be slides from 1 to 20 so like this so you want to key on X and Z values so now I want to play this one using play button so go to first frame and click on this one 
play button so that means it will slide like this so like this so now I want to uh, play the speed as real time so right click on time slider and choose playback speed as real time sometimes it will be set as play every frame so that means your playing speed is really high so I want maximum real time so I will choose real time so and then play so this is what we have so and then stop over here so I will go my first frame so see here it will start up with slow and here it has even speed it end up with slow so I want to start with speed and end up with slow so you will able to make the in uh, graph editor so when your animation underscore control zero one selected go to window animation editor and choose graph editor so now I select my animation control zero one and press F in keyboard so that means focus so see here it will be shown translate X values and translate Z values so I will select my controller it will show uh, all key values over here so the curve will represent so from 1 to 20 will be animated see here it will shows the 1 to 20 will be animated over here so I want to start up here as slow see here the curve will be in S shape so that means it will start up with slow so here you got even speed and end up with slow so in my case I will select this point so click and drag and select this point and click linear tangent so that means you got even speed over here and end up with slow on 20th frame so you want to do on translate x also so I will select this value and click on linear tangent so that means it will start with slow sorry start with speed and end up with slow so now I close my graph editor I will select this view and click play button so see here it will be really nice so now I want to, so it's just sliding so I want uh, rotation also so from 1 to 20 so go to 20th frame select the animation underscore control so here you want to give rotation y to right click and choose key selector over here in 20th frame so go to first frame and give sorry go to first frame and choose sorry I will undo this one so in 20th frame it will be 360 degree so in first frame it will be zero value so go to first frame and right click and choose key selector so in first frame it will be in zero value so go to 20th frame so I want one rotation so that means 360 degree so give 360 and press enter in rotate Y so right click and choose key selector so that means click when I click on this camera view so see when I slide so it will be rotated like this so this is what we want so now I want to uh, adjust this graph editor so go to window animation editor and graph editor so I select my rotate Y and press F in keyboard so see it also represent it will start in slow it has even speed and end up with slow so I want to start up with speed so I will select the first frame over here and click on linear tangent so that means it will start with even speed and end up with slow so I close my graph editor I will select my camera view go to first frame and click play button so see here so this is what we expect so now I want to animate the chord also so go to select the uh, chord underscore reflection 01 so go to 20th frame and press S key so or S key in keyboard so go to 20th frame when your chord reflection one selected press S key so that means it will be keyed so go to 100th frame and press W you want to move this one in X in this side and press S so that means your chord will be animated in 20 to 100 
so now go to window animation editor and graph editor so i will press f to focus so i will select my all values and choose linear for this chord so that means the chord will animated for uh, even distance so why we animate our chord means so when you uh, when your mobile will stand in static when your chord will be animated means the reflection will be animated in here so it will looks so real so see here i will select my 20th frame and select my camera view and click render okay so i will keep this image for comparison so now i go my uh, minimize this one so i go my 100th frame so i will slide my uh, time slider over 100 so I will select this view and click render again ok now you see the difference see here so in 20th frame it has reflection over here so in 100th frame the reflection over here so after we render all the frames so you will able to see the difference so it will be slides little uh, slightly so up to 20 to 100 so after rendering after we complete in composition you will see the difference so you definitely want to animate the chord up to 20 to 100 so little bit so like this so now i want to adjust little bit camera view go to view and choose select camera so i will unlock all my all the values so i will select all my values and right click and choose unlock selected so go to 20th frame and press S key so when your camera selected and press S key in keyboard so that means it will be key so go to 100th view and I will little bit I will rotate my camera view and press S key so that means you got little bit movement of your camera so up to 20 to 100 so go to shading and choose wireframe on shader so you will able to see the difference see here it will little bit sliding so i will adjust very tiny bit movement for my camera so that's it so see here when i play so it will be moved little bit so like this so this is what we expect so that's it now you want to lock the camera go to view and select camera so I will select all my values right click and choose lock selector so now you got perfectly uh, animated camera and animated object for our final render so that's the end of our uh, animation part so after that we want to make uh, batch render for in next part Click the button to learn part 5 rendering.